lift the toilet seat of your mind, for I'm about to drop a load of knowledge. Being a grown-up means doing dumb things and pretending that they're smart things. <laughs> Wall Street! The EPA was created to keep people from putting poison in your body via the air, water, and soil. That's a smart thing. Yet pollution is still rampant, causing health problems like death. In fact, thanks to biologically persistent chemicals and bioaccumulation, most Americans' bodies would be regulated by the FDA as being toxic waste, unfit for consumption even by animals. Breast milk? Yeah, sometimes that too. But we have an environmental protection agency. How did this come to pass? Well, it turns out that saving lives is bad for business. Adult alert! Saving lives? That's stupid! Since it was expensive to clean up all the toxins put into the soil, air, water, and biosphere, the Reagan administration changed the EPA's role. They changed the EPA's role from being one of an enforcement agency that prosecuted people who were trying to poison your ass to being one that simply regulated safe levels of poison which they could put into you. Yes, now they can legally poison your ass. But it turned out that limiting the amount of poison they could put into you was also bad for business. So the EPA was further defanged and the idea of breaking exposure was born. For instance, in the Tennessee Valley, where thousands of acres of land and water have been permeated by a cancer-causing coal mining slurry, it will be really expensive to clean all that up. And it would have been bad for business to prevent those responsible from storing said coal slurry in open-air earthen-walled pits. It's easier instead to just break exposure. This means they send out a warning that you should not drink, cook with, swim in, eat, fish from, or touch contaminated water or soil. Or in other words, get the fuck out of the Tennessee Valley in any area that's fed by its watershed. Side comment. Obama supports clean coal. Clean coal is a fictional technology in which we take the bad stuff that comes from burning coal and stick it in the ground. That's the clean part. That's fine, except for it ignores the fact that all you're doing is taking and diverting pollution that would go into the air and sticking it into the ground. Once in the ground, it then pollutes the soil and groundwater. It also ignores the coal mining process. Even with clean coal technology, the mining spills like what happened in the Tennessee Valley would continue to happen. Daft Punk and Adam Friedland have drank some of the water from the Tennessee Valley spill and made a music video about what they saw. <laughs> Wow, that looks like fun! With breaking exposure, it's suddenly your responsibility to make sure your ass doesn't get poisoned. Even though some asshole upstream just dropped a wad of poison on your everything. If you get sick and die or get cancer, it's suddenly your own fault instead of the asshole upstream who poisoned your ass because you failed to heed the warning to break exposure. This is a very adult way of thinking. Saying that it's your fault for getting sick or dying when somebody poisons your environment is a lot like saying that it's your fault for getting dead when somebody shoots you in the face with a gun. These pollutants, like bullets, don't belong in the body and don't get there without somebody doing something out of the ordinary. Such as firing a gun, dredging up coal from an area that hasn't been exposed to the water table for a few millennia, or storing toxic waste in open air holes in the ground. The elephant in the room here is that regulation regarding the storage of toxic waste ignores the question, why the fuck are we making this stuff to begin with? Why aren't we relying on wind and solar? Of course, some people say that it's childish to ask questions like these, but then being an adult is doing dumb things and pretending that they're smart. The inverse would dictate that being an adult also means not doing smart things because you perceive them to be dumb. Protecting the environment! This is the punk patriot dropping knowledge like an elephant with diarrhea.